everyone, welcome to Paula's channel. Today we continue exploring how to make with Microsoft Teams and adaptive cards. Please watch the episodes from 1 to 4 for a better context. We will start building the floor, and the first block of logic will be to generate the code. The challenge is to generate four digit codes, code which contains only unique digits. Let's start building. We're going to build the floor in the same environment we set up Teams. We'll go to Flow, then to Flows tab, where we're going to start from the new one and create an instant from blank. Call it Wolves and Cows. And it's going to be manual triggered flow. Click on Create. As a first step, we will initiate variable. Which we call code. It's going to be, the type is going to be string. And we just rename step. And we need another variable. which we will we'll call current number. And this variable type is going to be integer. And we set it to no. Zero. And renaming the step. Now, as the first step, as the first step, Progression. We'll do look. We'll use do two. Um, two. Control. And the condition, and we're gonna keep looping until the length of the string code. Is equal to four. To not do it indefinitely, we we we're gonna look at the limits and we set it up to five thousand or one ohm. Five thousand or one ohm. Have a look again. The fu function length is calculating how many digits or how many characters in a string code. Now, let's just use set variable and set our variable, which is a current number, current number to the following function. We're going to use function friend and the minimum value is going to be zero, and uh, maximum value is going to be one. Okay. I think, I think, inclusive on both ends. So probably, probably should use really zero to nine. Let's just see how it's going to work. Because I used to 0 to 10 previously, but I just tried to do it right this time. On the suggest condition, and sorry, we probably have to rename here to set current variable, current number. Okay, and in the next step, let's just check. So we're going to check. We're going to check if is already in the code. Okay. How are we going to do this? We're going to copy paste from some 
from different places. I apologize for this, but it's, it's a very long expression. And I'm going to show you anyways. I'm going to use function contains, and as you can see on the screen, we check if variable code contains variable which we just generated with a random function, which we converted to the string. So basically, if we generated one, we check in the code if already contains one, it's going to return false. If already contains one, it's going to return true. But we, we, we care about false. So if, if it's not in the code, then we have to add it to the code. We use a function of band and we, we can use dynamic. Okay, I forgot to save it, so I just save it and then test it. Let's run the test. Look, it's already already run, and it ran it tried it five times. And let's just see. For the first time, it generated three. And a second time, sorry, second time generated something which didn't satisfy the condition, then one, then zero, then five, then I don't know what it is. Let's just have a look. Oh, I think to really have a look, we need another step. Let's just I just add it, 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 something smart in here so we could have a look. What do we have here, really? Um, let's just open both pop it hops. Compose is something we can just use just for, in this case. We just use compose. I just test. Run flow. I'm done. I just keep looping. And it's done. Yay! Something is wrong. Okay, I think what's wrong is. What is wrong is that we have to take this compose and we use a copy to the clipboard and then use that we copy from the clipboard and from here we're going to remove this step okay let's just see what's in the code and just save it and just again Oh, that was quick. See, we've got the four digit number with all unique digits. Uh, probably let's just try again. Let's generate another number. Just try. And done. Um, see, it's running here. And it succeeded in around nine seconds. Let's just have a look. It generated an uh, generated another number which is two zero six five, and all digits are unique. Let's just have a look again to the flow. Uh, on <laughs> let's just have a look how flow looks like. It's manually triggered flow, and um, on the first step we initialize code. On the second step we initialize current number. Then we tried to append every time a new randomly generated number till 
the length of the chord is 4. This function is random, 0 to 9. And the condition, if character is already in the chord, we do nothing. If it's not in the chord, then we append. That's simple. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.